bunch of different stuff to cover tonight. A lot of fun stuff, so bear with me. A little bit longer video, but hopefully all or some of it's interesting. I'm going to first start off with a couple of channels that I found recently. Uh, first one, this channel is Scott Smith. Um, I think he should have more subscribers, so I'll check him out. Uh, to find him, if you just put Scott Smith, you're going to end up with a bunch of MMA or wrestling videos if you just punch that into YouTube. But put Scott Smith PSA and this uh, 138 card PSA reveal video will come up. Um, I like this video because um, he's passionate about a lot of cards that some people might not get graded, but cards that he likes. And I love seeing that where somebody's getting stuff graded because they like the cards. So um, good video and also check out some of his other videos. And also I am going to show you his eBay. Uh, well, first, uh, one of the cards in this video, which I'll show you in uh, the mail day in a little bit later in this video that I'm going to show stuff I got in the mail. I like the card on this, contacted him and asked him, I mean, not this Ryan, it was a different Ryan, um, and asked him if I could buy it off him and uh, PayPal'd him and I just got the card today. So honest guy too, which, you know, you usually don't want to trust just PayPal and money to people, but we had talked back and forth quite a few times and uh, you kind of get a good feel for somebody. Um, and I like a lot of his stuff he got graded because he... I don't have a heck of a lot of OPG. I mean, maybe, you know, a few dozen OPG cards. He graded a ton of OPG, and it just, they came out awesome. Like this, uh, this Ryan, this, this is cool, because look, at Angel's uh, jersey, but OPG, I think, came out a little later than top. So instead of on the top, so it says Angel's, it says Astros. And uh, now with Astros. It's pretty cool. So, um, and then his eBay... Um, he has, he has a lot of neat stuff, a lot of good graded stuff on eBay. I think he has like 150 listings right now. Um, and his eBay, that's his eBay. If you want to buy stuff from him, uh, a lot of the stuff that he has in his videos, his PSA and SGC videos, he lists on eBay, hiddengems.fl. Um, and part of the reason I'm telling you to go to his eBay is because a lot of what he sells, if not all is going towards medical expenses for his kid. Um, not gonna go into details, but uh, sad story. And it, it, you know, somebody like that who's struggling, who's having to sell off stuff because of bad things going on, um, I'm gonna support. So um, just, you know, if you wanna buy some good cards from a good guy, an honest guy, um, go to uh, hiddengems.fl. Uh, I recommend it. So, um, and now off to the next channel that I just found recently. Okay, next channel that I found recently is COG Sports Cards. I have no idea how I didn't find these guys sooner. It looks like they've been around about six, seven months um, because a lot of times I'll search on YouTube for um, box breaks and vintage pack breaks and this is a crazy channel. The stuff they open, it's insane. It's it's absolutely insane. So they open everything. So much vintage. Look at that. 85 Fleer box, 81 Tops box, 87 Donner's box, uh, 80 Bending box, um, and then some of these uh, vintage, cards tre uh, vintage card treasures, which, I mean, those are so awesome, this type of stuff. They can come out of those. Uh, 79 vending box. They did a, uh, um, they did a 79 wax box somewhere in here too. 85 racks, um, 82 Donruss. Uh, they open a ton of crazy stuff. And here, here's what's, uh, was even more shocking to me is they, <laughs> I love opening older stuff, but I can only open so much because I want to keep a lot of it and I can't afford to replenish what I open. I mean, it's just too expensive. These guys open all this stuff without it being like breakers on TV, which is great. The ones who make uh, on YouTube who make money or, um, you know, do breaks on TV on YouTube to uh, split the cost between everybody who's buy who buys into certain breaks and stuff. 
Um, that's great and all. And, uh, but so they open a lot of cool stuff on those channels, but it's, you know, they're not having to foot the bill. These guys, it's their stuff that they're opening. It's insane. And then on top of that, um, in two of the videos I saw, they gave away, just give away right during the break. Um, they gave away an 87 Topps baseball wax box. And in another one, they gave away a uh, one corner of an 81 Donruss box. So nine packs, the person um, during the live stream picked which corner that they wanted. They picked upper left and they get all nine packs. Just like that. No, no, like, um, <laughs> no buy-in, no nothing. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. So these guys open these. These up, they're they're passionate about the cards. They love the cards. They joke around. They, that's what baseball cards are about: is having fun and making jokes and just having a good time. Plus, these guys are huge Dale Murphy fans, and Dale Murphy, I think, is one of the classiest, most respected gentlemen, or should be. You know, I mean, what, he should be in the Hall of Fame uh, in in all of sports, Dale Murphy. And these guys like Dale Murphy a lot. They get as excited over Dale Murphy cards as they do, um, Hall of Fame rookies. So, uh, check out this channel also. Okay. I got to talking too fast. I'm trying to cram too much in, but we're only like five, six minutes into this. Um, so, uh, the rest of this video is basically mail day with uh, a preview to an upcoming video, my next video. Do not get mad at me, okay? So this is something I've been talking about for a couple of weeks that I've wanted to do. I've talked about it to uh, Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards. He said, no, don't do it. I've really been wanting to open another 75 pack. I don't want to open another 75 rack pack. Um, I do have some wax, but my next video, we're going to cut into this. 75 cello. It's just gorgeous. I, I just want to see what's in this one. The, so yeah, it's, I could turn around and sell it on eBay for a bunch, but I've been very good with my unopened collection. I've maybe opened 5% of my stuff over the years, all the stuff that I have. So uh, this, so yeah, I know what it's worth right now. You know what it's worth. Um, I think I paid 150 bucks for this like five, six years ago. I have four or five other 75 cellos in PSA holders. I have five or six other 75 cellos, uh, ungraded, but gorgeous condition from legit sources. So I deserve to open one. I want to open one. So this is this next, uh, next video, I'm going to be opening this. So, um, again, you know, people might get ticked off, say that's stupid and everything, but I, everything I bought, I bought with the intention of opening. And and I bought them at good prices. I got lucky and bought most of my own open between five and 10, 12, 13 years ago. So I think in, I mean, I think of what I actually paid for it. I mean, okay, so it's worth however many hundreds of dollars now, but I'm not gonna sell this and I wanna enjoy it. So we're all gonna open this next video. Okay, now. Uh, mail day, mail day, mail day. This is everything that's come in the mail the last week or two. Where do we start? Uh, first, the trade. You've, uh, if you've seen Brandon's baseball cards, you've seen his end of the trade where he got a 75 rack from me. Um, I was short on cash. I needed cash. So he sent me cash plus uh, two rack packs. Uh, I'm a huge, huge, huge George Brett fan. I'd never known these that existed before. You've probably seen this one on his channel. So I traded him the 75 rack for cash plus this double Brett on front 85 rack and this 83 Donruss. I really do not have much of any uh, Donruss or Fleer on open racks. So you got two Hall of Famers, Perez and uh, Gary Carter on the front of this. So, so I got these two plus the cash for the 75 rack. So... That came in the mail recently. Uh, he sent a bonus uh, cool 87 pack, which we're gonna crack this open at the end of the video. So I love 87 racks. All right, so that's for the end of the video. We're gonna open that. So what else has come in the mail? Um, I bought a, I don't have this card uh, until now. It's, you know, it's mid-grade, uh, but I think it, 
auction ended up only being like $12.99. So I jumped on it. I got it. It's a 68 Brock. I think it's a semi-high number. And you know what? It's just a cool card. So for that price, I couldn't pass that up. Um, I've been trying to buy, which sounds crazy. I mean, this is so overlooked, 93 tops to try to get more Jeter rookies or gold Jeter rookies. But then I came across this for only, I think it was like 75 bucks. I had no interest in these when I was a kid, even though I love 75 tops minis, no interest in 93 tops micro. But if you look at what a Jeter, there's a Jeter in here, there will be. Um, I'm not opening this, <laughs> but an eight, nine or a 10 of a Jeter in the 93 tops micro is doggone good value. So I couldn't pass this up. I've been wanting to get more Jeter rookies. So this was one way. So I got this off eBay. And uh, so 93 complete set tops micro series one and two. So pick that up. Um, back to Scott Smith. Um, so here's the 81 OPG from that video that I showed you. Um, not, I didn't show you it on video, but if you watch that video, you'll, you'll see this card. The reason why I got this is I thought how cool in one of my recent reveals, um, my tops Ryan came out in eight. So how cool is it to have both of these displayed on my wall together with the Opeachy in an eight and the tops in an eight? So I don't know. I just think they're cool together. They go together. They belong together. So there they are. So, um, so I bought this off Scott Smith, uh, where I told you I just, you know, I PayPal'd him and then he, uh, sent me this, got this within a week and, uh, pretty awesome. He sent me a couple of bonus cards too, which was really nice. Look at this. This was the hot card when I was a kid, too. One of the hot cards in 87. Uh, Joyner, Wally Joyner rookie. And I love Drake's cards. I love that the backs are just like the tops from that year. So, and then the front is the Drake's potato chips. I love these cards. Look at that gorgeous. 83 Ripken uh, Drake's potato chips. So he sent those two as bonus cards. I mean, crazy nice. Really appreciative. Um, again, check out his channel. Um, and then... In the mail today from Brandon, from Brandon's Baseball Cards, he sent me just, didn't even know he sent me some. Sent me just, <laughs> um, here's the note. Got this pack recently and thought you'd like it. Okay, well, not just the pack, but a 61 Tops autographed Chuck Cottier. I mean, cannot... <laughs> That's just too nice. I mean, that's crazy nice. Totally, look at this. Tommy Lasorda, autographed, 78 card. So these go on displayed on my wall too. I mean, that is killer. And then look at this. Look at this crazy pack he sent. Look at this. Three Hall of Famers, Trammell, Brett, and Johnny Bench on an 82 rack. And he knows how much I love George Brett, I, you know, the trade I did with him. And this is probably my favorite George Brett card. It is just, it's, I think it's the first George Brett card I ever had. It's definitely the first one I ever, the, the first Topps Brett I ever pulled out of a pack. It was either late 82, I think it was actually early 83, at the Snack Shack of a Little League game. They still had 82s there. I picked up a pack pulled this out and I just, I don't know what it is. It's just the face on him, how he's just gripping the bat right there. It is just a crazy awesome card. So much so that I bought one in a 10 off eBay like five, six years ago for like 40 bucks. It's worth a bunch now. I'm never gonna sell it. It's not something I bought as an investment. I bought it because I love the card. I just, there's something about this Brett card and now I have it on front of an 82 rack. So un. Believable. Thank you, Brandon, from Brandon's Baseball Cards. That is just a, that is a killer, killer pack. I just, man, just that showed up in the mail today. I'm like, well, what's this package? I texted him. I said, uh, Brandon, it's his birthday today. And and I said, I get a gift on your birthday? That, that, that doesn't make sense. So, uh, and then one other quick bit here, uh, just still doing sorting and sleeving of uh, the 77 set that I, traded for recently. Um, I'm up to like card 432 sleeving and getting all put away nicely. And it's just, I love older cards because you know, it was way before the internet and stuff 
this is, uh, you know, this is how a lot of kids and how a lot of people found out, you know, about players and history of, and these are cool. I mean, these are often overlooked, the turn back the clock uh, subsets within a set. So out of the 77 set, I, these are the, the five from 77. I thought they're so cool. I mean, the, the history behind this. So uh, Colbert, Nate Colbert hit five home runs in a doubleheader. And here's the, and it says it on the back too. And I saw this like on uh, ESPN or something once. Here's what's crazy. The only other player to ever do this was Stan Musial, who had five home runs in a doubleheader. Nate Colbert was eight years old at that game, turned to his dad and said something like, boy, that would be cool to do someday. I, I mean, you know, the odds of that are just, there's no math to figure out that just the crazy coincidence of that. So that's a cool card. Um, Yastrzemski wins triple crown in 67. That's, that's an amazing, amazing piece of history. Um, Wills set the stolen base record in 62, Maury Wills. And then here's what's cool is I didn't know about these last two. I did not know um, that, what's his, uh, Keegan, what's his, uh, Bob Keegan, uh, Bob Keegan uh, threw the only no-hitter in uh, 57. I mean, I didn't know that. It's kind of cool to, you know, read the back, find out about it. And then this one, Kiner led the NL in, uh, in home runs for seven straight years. I mean, that's, that's insane in 52. Uh, um, Ralph Kiner led the uh, NL and homers for his seventh straight year. I mean, just the history of these are just cool. So I just wanted to sidetrack and just why I love the, the turn back the clock cards. And I just, so it's, so I, these sleeve, they're ready to go, uh, into the box. And I just thought it was just kind of cool to, uh, um, run through those, run through a little bit of, run through a little bit of history there. A little history lesson. Um, um, care of, care of top baseball cards. Uh, da, 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 scissors, 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 scissors. So we're going to cut into this 87 rack and see what we get. So hope you enjoyed the video. A lot of different topics. Um, Hopefully you won't get ticked off at the next video where I'm going to be cracking open that uh, 75 cello. I mean, you guys can laugh if nothing good comes out of it. But, I mean, even if I get just, you know, high-grade commons and semi-stars, I mean, I'm just ecstatic with how, you know, I mean, they're just beautiful to me. So, all right. So let's, let's run through these. I got the three cells opened up here so we know who's on the back of that Bo Diaz so I'll pull it to the top just so the back card is still a surprise so 87 tops rack care of uh Brandon's baseball cards sent this just a free throw in in the trade we did um and I'm going to repeat what he said in a few of his videos the best thing about this YouTube video is the people that I've met the people I've gotten to know the friendships made through this hobby um this is my only vice you know I don't you know, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs, I don't, you know, I don't own Harleys or, it's baseball cards for me. So these cards bring me a lot of, you know, it's an escape, a lot of happiness and it's an escape from, you know, you know, hard days or hard weeks. So, um, Bo Diaz, Kirby Puckett, Dusty Baker, Pete Rose. Beautiful. Sorry, this card table's all shaky. I'll try to keep my arms off of it. Um, beautiful. So we're going to sleeve that. Beautiful. Paul Ossenmacher, Juan Samuel, Larry Parrish, Danny Cox, Ben Ogilvy, amazing hitter back then. Huh. Tops collation strikes again. Look at that. Bo and Bo in the same cell. Bo Diaz. Well, you know, it'd be cool finding two Bo Jacksons in the same cell, but this is crazy. Look at that. So, ah, that's funny. Uh, Jim Beatty, Ron Oster. Ooh, I thought I started to see that. I thought Bonds. Nope. Belliard, Raphael Belliard, Charlie Huff. Oh my gosh. Look at this crazy pack. Look at this crazy pack. Look at that. Two Juan Samuels. <laughs> 
<laughs> Excuse me. That's just crazy. Another Larry Parrish, another Danny Cox, another Ogilvy. Okay. <laughs> Hey, at least we got a Pete Rose. That is funny. Okay, let's see if this cell is bonkers. Okay, on the back, Cardinals leaders. Um, okay, I gotta rest my arms on the table there. Uh, I'll just not try to shake it. Okay, Dwight Lowry. <laughs> okay, I'll stop laughing. Uh, Doug Corbett, Pat Corrales with the beautiful, <laughs> great looking gray there. <laughs> uh, Dennis Powell, Rigetti record breaker. Bill Gullickson, sorry about the glare. Bob Kipper, Chico Walker, keep tilting it the wrong way for getting glare. Jerry Naren, Bowmel, great manager. Bob Melvin, I mean, he's not a manager there, but he became one. Uh, Joe Price, A's leaders. I used to love that card as a kid. Dave Bergman, Roger Mason, Dwight Evans, I'm a Kokodauer. All right. <laughs> no crazy doubles runs in that one. All right, here we go. All-star in the back. Puckett. Nice. Nice. All right. Sleeves up. Uh, Teddy Higuera. Tim Piznarski. Man, we went crazy over anything that said future star or, you know, prospect or gold cup card back then as kids. Um, I don't think he did much of anything. Uh Pisnarski did. Bill Dolly, Red Sox leaders. Bobby Bonilla. This was almost for a while. I'm going to say for a long while. This was hotter than the Bonds rookie. Bobby Bonilla rookie. That's cool. Schmidt. In my top three, three or four all-time favorite players. Oh, a Larkin rookie. Brandon. Brandon, you deserve this because you sent me this pack. Larkin rookie. So Schmitty. Larkin rookie. Man, that's gorgeous. Holy cow. Man sakes. Jim Acker, Chris Basio, Ray Canones, Terry Poole, Dave Henderson, died way too young. Um, when he was with the A's, my sister and her friends went to an A's game and it was his birthday that day and they sang him happy birthday and they turned around and acknowledged them. <laughs> Pretty cool. Ray Searage, Bobby Witt, Tony LaRussa, White Sox leaders, and Mattingly All-Star. Wow. Beautiful. 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 So this is a lot of fun. I mean, this is what cards are about. They're fun. I just, I love them, and it's fun sharing with all of you, and hope you enjoyed. Have a good night.